Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, Stacy Davidson here, and you are watching Jack Houston, the uh, point-and-click adventure game uh, with miniature environments and stop-motion characters being made right before your eyes. Okay, so uh, last time we were talking about the armature uh, for the sculpture, not for uh, animation. Uh, I just wanted to ha make a quick little note here about plumbing hardware. Um, I'm working around six scale, uh, maybe slightly smaller. And uh, so I'm using quarter inch plumbing hardware. Now, if you are working at quarter life, you're sculpting, say, 18 inch characters, you might want to work at half uh, uh, inch scale. Uh, difference being the hardware here for the T section is going to be much larger uh, and it's going to be tougher to hide on a smaller character. Uh, the downside to the smaller hardware is that it's hard to fit all your armature wire through it. Now, uh, what I did is I'm just twisting all the way up to the waist, and then I'm putting uh, the, uh, the straight pieces through, and then uh, stuffing the plumber's putty back here. And uh, by the way, you always know when you've got enough plumber's putty when it starts to seep out on the other side. You just keep shoving it in there with a tool and get it nice and packed in there, and you'll start seeing it. Uh, seep out and that's when you know you've got plenty in there and it's gonna give you a nice hard bond and then uh, I use 28 gauge uh, wire to uh, wrap this up and make me uh, or make the, the spine nice and and sturdy okay so now I'm gonna do the hands um, this is uh, 16 inch uh, I'm sorry 16th inch uh, uh, armature wire um, it's it's a gauge down from the eighth inch that I'm using for the body, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my armature map, okay? And I'm going to basically start it at the wrist, okay? And bring it down to the first finger and then bend it around, okay? What you do is you want it to come out to the first finger and then you're going to bend it down and create the ring finger. Bring it back to the wrist, bend it again make your middle finger, bend it again, and now you've got your index finger. Bend it again, one more time, for your thumb. Okay, and when all is said and done, you should have a piece somewhat like this, or this, um, and what you want to do then is you want to stick it in the chuck of the drill, okay, and twist it, tighten it, and get it nice and, uh, and tight down here so that you, you can stick it into uh, a rod uh, and, and attach it, and I'll show you that in just a second. Um, main thing is when you're when you're twisting it, you want to grab onto it with your pliers wherever you want the wrist, okay? And then you're gonna twist it and give yourself a nice tight fitting there at the end. Okay, so uh, how am I going to plug it in? Well, uh, I'm gonna use rods. So you can use brass rods like these square bl uh, brass uh, uh, rods. Um, I don't actually have a gauge handy that, that that's going to be the right gauge for that, but uh, I, I do have some aluminum rods that are the right gauge, so I'm going to use these instead. Um, so I'm going to take the larger of the two, uh, and the way this works is that you, you, know, you stuff it in there, uh, and you, you cut off just enough, and then you take one gauge smaller um, of the tubing, so this is 9.30 seconds and this is one quarter. So what that means is that when you take one, you can slide it uh, into the other, okay? And it's gonna create a plug. Um, now, in order to do that, we're gonna need smaller parts. Okay, so safety glasses on. Remember, whenever you're working with dangerous stuff like this, uh, put whatever safety equipment uh, on your body uh, is appropriate. You want to see no evil, hear no evil, and breathe no evil. Uh, I just made that up. You can have it. Um, okay. Dremel. I'm going to take this piece, and I'm just going to make myself a bit of a wrist uh, to give myself just enough room to, to uh, connect it to the arm, okay? And I'm using a, uh, a cutter bit here. You 
want to use a flexible cutting uh, bit. You don't want to use a super uh, rigid cutting bit uh, because you're likely to uh, pop it right off and hurt yourself. Um, these things can break. So uh, some of the more rigid uh, discs can be dangerous with really rigid metals. Actually, with aluminum, you're probably safe. If you're cutting a really rigid uh, structure, you, you really don't want to do that. You want to be using uh, a very, very uh, flexible disc so that you don't uh, break it off and end up injuring uh, yourself in the process of trying to cut it. Okay, so still got a good, good fitting there. And do one more. Let's get give myself a little measurement there. Okay. Go a little bit faster. Well, that was easier. Um, try to cut all the way through because if you're having to bend it and twist it off you're going to have a problem because you're going to end up making yourself some funky uh, edges that are going to be hard to uh, you know, create your plug. Okay, so there we go and there's my, my wrist. I'm going to go ahead and I've got a nice tight piece here so I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Nice and clean. Well, I would do it clean if I had a decent tool. Uh, okay. That's going to give me a really nice tight but small wrist okay and I'm gonna use the plumber's putty to lock this into place this is the plumber's putty uh, you'll find it in the hardware store uh, and it's uh, it's basically a tube of, of uh, uh, A and B epoxy that you chop off with your utility knife and then knead it until it gets uh, one it gets to be one um, uniform color and then you can pack it in here and it sets in about five minutes but you want to give it a good hour or so before you start messing with it and uh, and that will create the wrist and then do the same with the smaller gauge tubing and remember when you're for this side you always want the smaller gauge because these wires, even though they're smaller, when they're all twisted together, they actually come out larger than this eighth inch. So, uh, so you want to go with the smaller on this side. And this is a really important thing to remember. When you're doing this, always, always, always check your armature map, which I showed you in the last video. Uh, make absolutely sure before you uh, attach the hand or create the, the hand and attach the arm uh, plug piece that your hand is going to line up uh, to the right spot down here at the bottom. You don't want one hand longer than the other one. You certainly don't want uh, you know longer arms or shorter arms than you intended. Um, and there's that and then uh, so in the next video, I'm going to uh, put up, probably later today, another video and show you uh, these hands in place and how I'm going to do the feet. Alright, thanks.